Hi, I'm Irene Barbieri. I'm the owner of Mia Gemma. We're here in the heart of the Penn Quarter on F Street Northwest between 9th and 10th. Um, today we are launching um, our new wedding collections from our fabulous new designers as well as our existing designers. We have Stephen Chris from New York. Well, my uh, line is uh, essentially European based design. I'm all about it. Yeah, I think in terms of women's bridal, uh, I think my favorite pieces currently uh, is this is this piece. Primarily, aside from diamonds, I like to work with colored sapphires because next to diamonds, they are one of the hottest stones uh, available to us. I also just make settings. Oh, okay. And, and customers can provide their own diamond, or we can source a diamond for them. All my work, including my latest designs, are available on my website, which is www.stevenchris.com. Odavia Morrow is our other artist. Her work is in this case. I'm Odavia Morrow, and uh, my company is joined by Odavia, and this is my print line. It, well, this sounds kind of corny, but I pick all my stones individually. And once I have my centerpiece, the stones speak to me. And it just all comes together. I don't have a plan when I'm putting something together. It just, um, I see something and um, it all sort of flows together. And this stone tells me it wants to be like that stone. <laughs> That's just sort of fun. A lot of brides these days, when they don't want to jewelry feel, um, they want to show off their dress. So, for a bride who doesn't want a lot up top, but this new piece right here, which is really a statement piece, very romantic, very feminine, um, a little bit of, of eco-friendly silk there. All of my pieces basically speak for themselves. Then we have Aisha Mayadis, and Aisha is from New Jersey. And my customer is someone I would probably call like the alternative lifestyle person, the urban, you know, environmentally conscious, you know, tree hugger. Um, just I often find people do a lot of search and then they come to me and they always comment on how different the book is. So um, I use almost entirely 18 karat gold. So it's the yellow gold, and the white gold, which is a particular alloy that I use that has a little bit more steel gray color to it, and that has a like a huge urban appeal you know to it um, and then I do some rose gold which is also a, it's a really popular you know color these days and then um, platinum as well I think the for me I'm not about stones and I'm not about blank, you know. Um, for me it's the form of the ring that's the most important thing and often even putting center stones in a ring is very difficult for me to do because I don't. The ring is not to me about the center stone; it's about the form. So very often I'll find myself talking people down on the size of the center stone so they can actually see more of the ring. In DC and Baltimore is my biggest audience. In fact, last year I would say over half of the sales came from this area, even though I live outside New York. And I think it's because people here very much appreciate the all the um, handcraft approach to making things, whereas in the New York area things are a little bit more brand oriented, so I'm doing a lot of educating the public and putting out a lot of effort to bring the crowd in, whereas here in D.C. people are already aware of what's going on. And we also have here Jessica Fields. I do do a lot of sort of alternative bridal um, rings that can be used both as just a fashion ring or if you want to turn it into a bridal ring, it works that way too. Um, lots of things that can, can really be nested together and stacked so you can create a whole little combination on your finger as opposed to just one ring. This is a, a really popular ring. <laughs> are lucky enough to have somebody that wants to buy you some more rings, you can create a little stack. I think it's important to think about the longevity of something and think about what
what's this going to be like in 20 years or 30 years and not necessarily buy something that's just at the moment. Um, it's pretty easy to get caught up in the trends and the, the fashion of the world, but it's nice to have something that you feel like you're going to want to pass down to your children and it feels like an arrow. Here. What I always say is when a customer comes here, they can find their style.